Sheffield breaches EU limits on nitrogen dioxide. What happens here will be a vital testbed for the government's plans. And today the focus tightened on those in this city who drive diesel. This owner's car is so old he may get a cash incentive to scrap it. It's disheartening. I mean, you can't believe what you're told. It's, you're actively encouraged to go and buy a diesel vehicle and think about the environment. And now we're the enemy. The new pollution plan includes 27 new clean air zones, which could charge some motorists. A scheme known as scrappage to get 9,000 old diesel and 6,000 older petrol vehicles off the road. Plus tackling road humps and poorly managed traffic lights that increase congestion. Yeah, this is a diesel. This is dirty diesel close up, a vehicle made before filters were fitted to remove hazardous particles. This is probably one of the vehicles where they are trying to get rid of um, because it is probably a higher emissions value. Do you think we're talking about the death of diesel now? It's very expensive to maintain. People will want to buy a petrol engine rather than going for a diesel engine. So that may, yes, that may start to see a decline in the diesel. It's estimated there are 500 early deaths a year due to traffic fumes in Sheffield and many more like this group suffer breathing problems. You get as you can't breathe, you can't walk, you cough uh, and it, it, it's quite debilitating. The more we can get diesels off the road, the, the better it's going to be because we, we, they won't have to go to the hospitals. For decades, politicians have spewed out policy ideas like vehicles spout pollution. But the road to a clean air solution is littered with ideas that disappeared into thin air. Chris Choi, ITV News, Sheffield.